Hi, I'm John Laney. I'm the Executive Director here at Regatta Point Community Sailing, and I'm going to give you a quick tour of the White 14. The White 14 is our basic fleet boat here, so as beginner sailors, this is the boat that you're going to come in contact with first, and I uh, thought it might be good if uh, I just gave you a brief overview. Everything that I'm going to talk about is um, in the adult beginner packet, so if you haven't been on our website, go to www.regattapoint.org click on forms and look for adult beginner packet and you'll find a picture, a drawing, of the white 14 with all the parts labeled. So you can follow along. Some generic boat uh, terms include, and some of these you're going to know, but the front of the boat is called the bow, B-O-W, the back is called the stern. When you move toward the front, it's called going forward. When you move toward the back, it's called going aft. Um, so I'm going to move forward to the bow and start with some of the things we find here. Um, the main boat part is the hull of the boat. So this is the hull. That's the cockpit. And standing on top of the hull is the rig. Um, the rig includes the mast boom, and the lines that hold the mast up. So these are called stays and shrouds. If it's holding the mast up in the fore and aft direction, it's a stay, and from side to side, hold the shroud. So the uh, line that you use to tie the boat up, connected here to, this is a horn cleat, or the bow cleat, and this line is called a painter for some reason that no one remembers. Um, so now we're getting into some of the running rigging. Uh, we need, obviously, to raise the sail. A line that's used to raise the sail is called a halyard. This line right here is used to raise the main sail. That's the one you're going to use. And so it's called the main halyard. And the back, this is, the, this is kind of the working end, the business end of it. The, um, the other end is way at the other end of the boat, so we'll talk about it again when we get back there. On the left side, or port side, of the mast is another halyard. This is used to raise a foresail. You're not going to be sailing with a jib, but I thought you might like to know what that was. The jib halyard. Used to hold the boom down is this very short line, which is called the downhaul. And here, also used to shape the sail, the boom bang, B-A-N-G. In the center of the cockpit is this area right here, which is called the centerboard trunk. This is a centerboard boat. So the centerboard rises up into the boat uh, to go on a trailer or to go in shallow water, and then is lowered when you want to sail in deep water. It's lowered by means of the centerboard pennant. So if I were to lift up on this line, centerboard would fall out of the bottom and to retrieve it I just pull on the line and pull it through the jam cleat which is right there. A line that's used to control a sail is called a sheet. This green line is used to control the main sail. So I can use this line to control the main sail and so it's called the main sheet. The main sheet runs through the main sheet uh, block and the main sheet jam cleat so that you can fix it in position if you want to. Finally, at the stern, we have the rudder and tiller. Um, this part is going to dummy up, but that's where the rudder would be, be a lot bigger, and the handle uh, is the tiller. So this is what you're going to use to steer the boat. When you push the tiller left, the bow of the boat goes right. When you go, move the tiller to the right, the bow of the boat goes right. And finally, at the end of the boom, 
the other end of the main halyard. So in the rigging instructions, you see an instruction that says, put the boom on your shoulder and retrieve the main halyard. This is what we're talking about right here. Put the boom on your shoulder, retrieve the main halyard, and connect it to the head of the sail. Thanks.